in that situation, the person is waiting for their situation to change. They're, they are kind of resigned to feeling that way until the situation changes. And at some point, they feel hopeless. Okay? Now, let's say that the person all of a sudden realizes, wait a minute, not my situation, it's my thinking. That's it. I mean, I'm sitting around thinking about how bad my situation is. Every time I have a thought, it's lowering my spirits. No wonder I'm way down here. You know, I've been, it's like going like this. Versus going like this, and I got a headache. Just don't know what the cause is. And then you discover, oh, I'm hitting my head. Now, even if you have such a bad habit of hitting your head, it's still uplifting to realize that that's all that's wrong. You don't have a brain tumor. And it's the same thing with people who realize, wow, it's not so much the circumstances, it's my thinking about them. Now, I can't help thinking about them. Let's say they say, I can't help thinking about them. Which I think most people who are depressed would say, I can't help myself. But the very fact that it's just thought, and it's just thought, and you know that it's just thought, is the difference between uh, being on a roller coaster and being in a runaway car. They both give you the same kind of experience but one has a feeling of well-being accompanying it, and the other one has a feeling of horror accompanying it. Okay, so just the very fact that you understand that, uh, it's just thought, is going to keep it from going too far down, see? The other thing it's going to do, it's going to turn it around. Why? Because you'll get new thought. You'll get new thought. Because that understanding will clear your mind and you'll, you'll get the thought. Now, people who I meet with who are depressed will say, well, George, how can you say that my thinking is causing my depression when all these things that I'm talking about, my financial problems, my problems with my wife, uh, this problem here, this problem there, all those actually exist. I'm not making those up. It's not some type of a, you know, a delusionary situation. Those actually exist, George. Well, what they don't realize is that their low spirits is really a large part of the reason that those exist. You see, they would say that their spirits are low is their low spirits. The spirits are low because of these circumstances. Okay? And I'm suggesting to them, no, uh, the reason those circumstances look so hopeless is because of your spirits. If your spirits were higher, it wouldn't look that way. And they say, well, what are you talking about? I said, well, you get new thought. Every one of those things that you're saying is um, deficient and bad has ideas and thinking that would make you feel hopeful about every single one of those. In other words, if you were, let's say we could suddenly you, you caught on and your spirits were soaring and you looked at that list, you'd have all kinds of ideas about that list. You'd understand what would make your relationship better. You'd understand what would, would you'd enjoy your job better if you were, if your feeling was better. You'd enjoy your job better. You'd see how to improve your work at your job. There isn't anything that could be plaguing your life, so to speak, that wouldn't look better and, and that you wouldn't have more ideas about good ideas about if if you were in a higher state of mind. You see? So even if we buy the idea that you tend to uh, 
genetically that you tend to be down or you, you tend to be anxious or whatever it is. As soon as you understand that it's just thought, as, you, as soon as you see how that happens, and as soon as you see that the feelings are coming, are being manufactured inside your own mind by your thinking, your mental health and mental well-being will start to improve. But you have to see it as a, as a, as a fact, as an obligate, uh, as an observation, as something that's, you have to realize that it has to become real to you. It can't just be a theory. Once it becomes real to you that you're going like this, unwittingly, it's, it's on the way out. That behavior's on the way out and you're going to be feeling better. So let me summarize what I've said. Uh, I, I basically, I, I said, look, the field of psychology and the, and, and the, uh, the, the current thinking in the world is that Depression is caused by a deficiency of serotonin, and anxiety is caused by a deficiency of other, other chemicals, depending on what type of anxiety you have, okay? The world, as, we, as I talk here today, thinks that they're causally connected. I'm saying, oh no, they're not causally connected, they're, they're both uh, a cause-effect of a third variable called thought, okay? And I talked about how when people's thinking changes, their chemistry changes, and even the scientists would say that. When your feeling changes, your chemistry changes with it, okay? Everybody, everybody has the capacity to feel better, you know, to, uh, everybody has a capacity to understand the role of thought and to kind of protect themselves from the ravages of their own mind. And all you have to do is just understand that it's just thought, and the thought is tied to feeling, and right away you're going to feel different in a nicer way because you won't feel like you are the victim of forces beyond your control. So what people have to understand is that thought and feeling are linked together. Okay, like you and your shadow, or your voice and your echo, they're linked together. And when people understand that, their spirits go up and it, it clears their minds, new thinking comes in, and they have a nicer feeling. So I, ho I hope that this, uh, I hope that this is very helpful to people, and I, I hope it, that it gives hope to people who feel like they are relegated to a certain unhappiness in life because of the chemistry. I hope that that it has that effect, and I hope that people will just take this to heart. You know, just. Take it to heart and, 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 and reflect on it and see if it if it jives with your own experience of life because you know you're a human being 24/7. If what I'm saying is valid, you'll be able to see it in your own experience. If 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 you can see that when you think sad thoughts, you feel sad. You're not going to have a case where you're thinking really happy thoughts and you feel sad. You'll begin to see that in fact the way you feel and what you think are are linked together.